Welcome back to the Boo Review. It's that time of month again. So here we are back with our recap this time for September where we're going to be covering a couple of ghost videos and this time some photos for you. So let's get started. Our first video is definitely an entertaining one at the very least. It comes from Optic Nade Shot. He's a gamer here on YouTube. But in this one he claims that he felt a paranormal presence in his apartment. I woke up with a little bit of a weird feeling like someone put their hand on my neck. My friends Ed and JB proposed an idea to me that we should Hunt the ghost. Well, not hunt the ghost, because I'm not. I'm not trying to. We should taunt him. You packed You're so many things. Just, you have rope in your car at all times. I keep a tent in my car so that if I ever get pulled over, I don't look like a serial killer. I just look like a camper. That I'm rope is going to be used to recreate the hanging that yeah. happened in this room. Listen, we are not. We are not it playing this here. right now. If you set up a noose in a room. We're not setting up a noose. Yeah. If you put a noose in a room, a ghost will slip into the noose to present himself. <laughs> Always happens. We've got our first camera set up. We have the night vision camera and the GoPro simultaneously pointing towards the kitchen. We're gonna go around the apartment getting more cameras set up for the rest of the night. We'll see what we can find. Just got our second camera set up. That coat hanger at the bottom of the stairs. Something about it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. This is gonna be the site of our third camera angle. I think we're gonna do four total. There's just always a feeling of discomfort and I go really quick all the way into the kitchen, turn the lights on, or I just keep up the lights on all night. Uh, <laughs> JV's here with pizza. Uh, we have a handheld rig and uh, then we're gonna go downstairs one by one. I don't like the idea of this because you don't live here and you're not gonna have to deal with this. Can you just do it already, God effing <laughs> damn it? Dude, my palms are like actually sweating. Well, well I mean, it's pretty hot in here, so. I did turn off the air. Are you gonna go? Or are you, you guys? You guys? Child. You guys are gonna go too, right? Well, yeah, we'll go when we'll definitely go when you do it first. Oh my god, dude! There was a spider crawling around somewhere, and I don't know where it went. This hallway is so creepy, especially with the coat hanger at the bottom. I do not like this, bro. I have to live here after this, man. <sighs> All right, did you find that spider? No, dude, I was looking for it. Okay, have a good time. Oh! <laughs> oh, dude, there's a goddamn Dracula down here. This ghost is fucking eating pizza. There's gotta be something in this fridge. There's a plethora of options. Well, I ain't seen shit down here. So the next part of this video actually has me spooked out. Honestly, like I wasn't expecting to see anything, but when I laid out all the audio files in the track on my editing program, I didn't see anything except for this one little audio blip, and I fast forward to see what it was. I just don't know, I, I don't know. I can't live here anymore. All right, so this video is definitely entertaining. It comes from Optic Nade Shot. He has a prior video to this one where he talks about the actual experience. Right here at 6.02 is the point that most people point out in it. There's kind of like a wispiness right there. The ending's uh, fairly tame compared to other Poltergeist activity videos we've seen, which actually think it makes it seem a little bit more legitimate because it's not as showy. I think it also has a little legitimacy in that this isn't his usual type of video. So either he is incredibly <laughs> clever or there's just something a little odd about it. We he's already not. got like he's, 10 he's million got, views. He's a couple like, million um, subscribers. Yeah, I mean, he's probably banking right now. I don't think he would have to do this. No, yeah. no, no, there's no reason he would have to. I mean, it's not like Stomedy. He's <laughs> yeah. always doing these type of videos. Yeah, I know. I love Stomedy. Yeah. I mean, we all do. Hell, Stomedy. My name is Stomedy, and I'm running for presidency of United States. Regardless of whether or not it's actual ghost or paranormal activity, he believes it. Unless he's got us all fooled. I do want to clear up one thing. There's this audio in the original video that's got people really freaked out in the comments oh, section. Yeah. People claim to hear... I just don't know, I, I don't know. And at first I couldn't hear it, so I had to turn it up and put my ear up real, real close. I, but if you're actually watching the video, you can see him trying to collect his thoughts and him saying, I just don't know, I, I don't know. And the way he says it kind of sounds like cut it off when you're not looking at it. I'm just gonna give it like a four. I think I'm gonna give this a five, which might seem high for this video. And it, sometimes we get a little flack on these uh, score systems. I'd say we actually don't get enough flack for our score system. <laughs> I mean, we have, a, we have a zero out of seven score system and no one has called us out on it. Yeah, <laughs> people are just going with it. And I love it, I love that people are just going with it. It's great. Our next video is a somewhat creepy EVP session. 
could you do it again just so that I know it wasn't any kind of interference you maybe tell me where it is that you go when you're not here? Uh, this video is from Michael D. McGee. Most of his videos are actually more of a poltergeist activity flavor. He's got some really interesting ones, actually. I mean, there's this one where he puts a remote down and it immediately just flips. If there's anything in this... See that? Yeah. That one was different. The things I've... It shifted it before, but it's never just thrown it like that. I recommend this. Find an EVP video. Find anyone you want. Find a couple of them. Let it play, but don't watch it. You'll find it much harder to actually hear what they say you should be hearing. It is interesting that he has the EMF reader and every time that Anna supposedly speaks to him, the EMF does tend to spike. Eh, I feel like I've seen better EVPs. I, I think I'm gonna give it like a three. If it wasn't for his other videos giving context to the fact that his place is haunted, I probably would give this a lesser score. I think I'm still gonna give this one like a two. <laughs> we need to play that back and see if there's an <laughs> EVP, EVP in there. EV any EVP in my sneeze? <laughs> Okay, the next thing we're covering here is actually a ghost photo that takes place in the infamous Missouri State Penitentiary. The story is that there was an inmate that was bludgeoned to death because he was a snitch in cell number 48. Apparently, he was bludgeoned to death with the same sledgehammer that was used to open up his cell wall. Upon first glance, you'd almost not notice there was anything wrong with it. The only person in the frame was supposed to be the girl to the left. Their face is covered in blonde hair and a, a little bit underneath the hair, it almost looks like a, a, a face that is disfigured. And this is pretty atypical for Missouri State Penitentiary because of just how many ghost sightings, how many reports there are in this place. I want to pick it apart just a little bit. If you notice, she looks like she's looking at whoever is walking by. And whoever is walking by, that's the back of their head. And they are turning left to look at her. So I like the image. Like, there's just... Something gives you a bad yeah, vibe. Yeah, there's yeah. There's something about it. I think I'll easily go 5.5. I'm going to give it like a 3.3. And this month's obligatory zero out of seven. Look at this silly piece of shit. I have no words. I, you know, I feel bad for giving anything a zero out of seven. And I, I, I want to correct something right here. We gave Toowoomba a while back <laughs> a zero out of seven, and it is not deserved at all. I mean, it's not a great video. Uh, I think I'm going to rectify that right now and go ahead and give it like a two. I can kind of agree with that. I mean, in retrospect, it's better than some of the stuff that we've Oh, yeah. Now that out. we've gone over, now that we've seen some real shit, like now Toowoomba, that now that was a goddamn masterpiece. But this one is pretty shit. Uh, but I still found it very funny. You know, it's kind of like with a bad movie. It's so bad, it's good. I'm gonna give it a two. That's right with, with, with Toowoomba. Well, right this is with worse Toowoomba. than Toowoomba. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> One? I don't know. I'm not giving this any thought. That's more thought than I ever wanted to give this video. This photo was taken in the Colorado Stanley Hotel, which is actually the inspiration for the movie, The Shining. It was taken by a tourist named Stephanie Wrighty. She said that she didn't feel any kind of weird energy until she got near this location here. They claim no one else was around. No one else was there. The story behind the photo is that there was a girl named Lucy. Some of the construction workers found her in the basement, and they assumed that she was a runaway, and they kicked her out. A particular night that she was kicked out, out, it was freezing out below zero temperatures and she froze to death. Spoiler alert. I haven't seen the shine. Spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, AJ has left the room so he won't be spoiled. In The Shining, Jack Nicholson's character freezes to death out in the cold. All right, so I'm back. I had to step away because I haven't seen The Shining and I would like to. It's it's a classic from all that I hear. It's a little bit creepy, but all right, it's blurry. It's it damn blurry. Maybe she didn't hold it steady when she took it. The image of the girl looks just as physical as the guy, the guy next to right. her. Then Does again, it? of course, the last time we claimed that something was actually there it was actually just a photo embarrassing is there no one else there and this is like legit like, like a ghost photo mm -hmm. or did a girl just happen to come around the Be corner and then stand and look directly at the camera and the picture was taken and scuttle off with no one noticing i'm gonna go with a five I, if, if this photo was just a little bit clearer i think i'd give it higher but i think a four our next one here man you know we have been searching and searching and searching for some video to finally prove all of our preconceptions about ghosts <laughs>
think it pretty well summarizes the majority of ghost videos. <laughs> Even though it's making fun of those videos, in a way it's, you know, it's celebrating the art of the faked ghost video. So I'm gonna rate it just like I rate everything else and that's based purely on entertainment. 5.7. I'm gonna go with a rounder number, just, so I'm gonna go with six. Well now I just feel like I ranked it too low. Yeah, that's pretty 8.4. As always, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, obviously we do a lot of this just for fun, so take the reviews for what they are with a grain of salt. We are working on making them a little more consistent. I hope you enjoyed it, though. Overall, um, we try to make you laugh a little bit. At the same time, give some actual analysis of what we cover. We do that for all of our videos, sometimes even with some skits thrown in. So, you know, maybe check out the uh, the Mirror Ghost Club. It's probably my favorite. Uh, thank you all, as always. And was there anything else you wanted to add? No, I never want to. And stay tuned for October, because we actually have big plans, and I hope we're able to capitalize on all of them and have some great videos for you guys in October. More list style videos including some of my favorite horror movies our favorite ghost videos and also our favorite ghost photos thank you all again for watching stay tuned we will see you in the next video take care peace